Sorry, my video cut out. I basically covered everything, though, that I wanted to show you, but I just didn't want to end this video without wrapping things up. So, so basically, this is your fenced-in backyard. You can see the chain link to the back. Oh, yeah. I forgot to show you the garage that's been converted. So let me show you that. Like I said, I think the realtor for these people have shown up, so I might have to say hi real quick. Or I'll go this way. All right, so this right here, of course, we're back at the front door. This is the converted garage. Um, your, your washer dryer is here. So by them converting, it almost uh, turns into like an inside washer dryer. But really, it's... You know, it's an exterior washer dryer. Um, they vented this room. So although this is the garage, they did put the ductwork in this room and it is cool in here. So, so this is the room that they created. They probably turned this into a family room or a Florida basement. Um, put a window in and of course it just looks right out to the, to the driveway. Or, but uh, has the French doors, and it's vented. Now, another interesting thing they did with this, I don't know why, but this is not sitting, this is my, um, laminate floors. It's not sitting on the slab, on the concrete slab. The concrete slab is right here. This is actually a really nice um, tile, but you can see there's about a four inch, um, height here. I think they did this so that it would be level with the uh, entrance into the house. And maybe that's why they did it. So when you stand here, it feels hollow. It feels like a wood frame house with planks. It doesn't feel as solid um, as when you're on a concrete slab. And that's because of that four inch lift. So I don't know. That's just the way they did it. And here is the water heater so and out here of course is just the side of the house so, you can see the uh, AC it doesn't look bad I mean it's not new but probably midlife So, but anyway, um, I was in the area when you had uh, wrote back to me, so I figured I'd stop in and shoot a video for you, give you an even better perspective than some pictures. Um, if it's a, I'm not sure if you're, if you're um, local or if you're out of state or out of town. Um, if you're local, we'd be happy to meet you here if you want to see more. Or uh, if you are out of town and you still want to see something that I didn't show you well, um, I'd be happy to come back out. And before I wrap this up, let me just kind of go back to the uh, kitchen area. So I just wanted to skip, skip over here to the kitchen area. I just kind of breeze through it real quick. Um, there's really a whole lot of drawers. So it's kind of a little bit tight. I was checking for like maybe a Lazy Susan. It does have the hardware and stuff on it. So, I do love the backsplash. That's beautiful. Oh, that light right there is lighting that up. So, like I said, no blinds. AC works well. I'll tell you that. I've walked by a couple of vents. Um, the windows look like they've been updated. They look pretty decent. So, 
All right, so I'm just gonna shut a couple doors here. This is the flooring that was in the garage where before they put that raised um, flooring. So I don't know if that's throughout the garage itself. It's pretty nice stuff. Turn the light on just to see that a little bit better. So you can put a shower curtain on that or a glass door. But yeah, this is, I like the flooring on that, that ceramic tile. And then this is what's basically in the entire garage, this type of floor. Just shut a couple of these doors. This is back to the to the front. I don't think I shot a, much of a video here. So, block house with stucco exterior, and like I said, they like I told you, uh, they enclosed the garage. All right, well, that includes my video for uh, 513 Pine Lane.